first export uh, keystone credentials then uh, run um, CLI command with, with minus minus debug option and copy the curl command so let me run this keystone get token get command so first let me run without this option so here you can see the token Okay, let me run that command with minus minus debug option. You can see the same output with some debug information. Here you can see the curl command. So this this is making a post request to this URL with this data tenant name username and password so you can run this curl command just let me copy that one and paste here you will get the same output see okay let me copy the token uh, run this keystone token get command then you will you will get the token then copy this token so i am going to save this in a variable named token token is equal to okay and you can check like So we we got token let me move to the next command so I'm going to list all images so this command will list this uh, all images let me run this without this debug option okay then with debug option so here we can see the curl command so this command is making a get request to this URL okay let me copy this curl command okay and I'm going to run that so we will get the same result okay so let me remove that token part from this command so I am going to remove this token and I am going to replace that with the variable which I created okay token so then um, let me run this command so I am getting unauthorized error so actually what we have to do we have to replace this single quotes with double quotes so we have to replace single quotes with double quotes we have to do we have to do like this so let me replace
okay now you can see the output so if you want to format the output in json you have to use this json tool this will format the format the output in json form and we have to replace this minus i option with minus s so let me copy this or let me put this same here let me copy this filter then then replace this minus i with minus yes then at the end put the filter so it's not working let me remove this part this arguments okay so here you can see the output in json format Okay. okay let me move to the next command nova list nova list this will list all virtual machines i know there is no virtual machine so let me run that command with debug option so you can see the curl command see this nova actually this nova list cli command first making making a token request see it's making a post request to this url so from this request we will get the token then sorry what is that then it making another request see another request this is a get request to this url to get the list of all virtual machines so this nova list command making two api call one post request to get the token and one get request to get all virtual machines so let me copy this for this guest get request to get all virtual machine and replace the token part with the variable which i created then replace minus i with minus s then put a filter here we put this filter there okay then copy this and run so this will give the list of all virtual machine right now there is no i haven't created any virtual machine so the list is empty so similarly we can try all other commands like neutron net list and cinder list so this neutron net list will list all networks see so if you want to net detail about some suppose i want to see the so this network so 
so we will get the more detail about this particular network so I want to see the corresponding request AP request for this CLI we have to put minus minus debug option then we can see the corresponding request API request uh, C so this is the command so it's first making a post request to get the token then scroll down then it making another request the get request with ID of network to this particular URL to get the detail to get the more detail about this particular network let me copy this API call and put it here and remove the token and replace with the variable which I created then copy this again and let me run it so I'm getting more So what happened? Let me try it again. It show. Let me copy this URL and run. Okay. Then let me replace. okay it's working then let me replace minus i with minus s so i can see the output in json format then filter the output and format in json form so so this is in string format so let me run this command this will show the output in json format see similarly we can we can find the api of any cli command using this minus minus debug option So what need, we need to do is first get the token, get the token, then save the token into some variable, then use that variable name in your curl uh, command like this. In the x auth tokens header, you can use that variable, and you can run your curl command and make any get post patch. Uh, any any request you can make to the API server.